Hey guys, this is a video that I, I kind of thought about doing for a while because a lot of people have been giving me comments or not really comments but Facebook messages about how do they improve their team and stuff like that so I thought I'd just give a little bit of insight because David here, fucking hell David, he gave me a freaking huge comment like this and it's going to be ages for me to reply to it so I might as well just do a video on it. Something that slid, uh, slid the puff. Is that how you said his name? Slid the Puff. Um, does on his streams. And I thought about doing it for a while when I actually started this channel. I thought about doing videos like exactly that. Improving people's teams. Interacting with the people. But it's just really, really hard to find the time. So this is just one of them I got. So I thought, what the hell? Maybe in the future when you guys give me Facebook messages, you can... I don't know. A request for a video or something. I don't know. <laughs> But it's it's going to be hard for me to find time, but when I do have the time, then I can do them. Okay, let's get to his comments. Sorry in advance, this will be lengthy. I know it is lengthy. Thank you. Thank you for that. I have um, Buck Power in the corner just to give a little bit of insight about the characters as well, who's level 80 at the moment. I think this is on global as well. Okay, no, it's not. It's, it's in Japan too. Okay. So obviously he has Yuna at level 65, Titus on 62... Walker at 60, or in 60, Cloud with the first fusion sword, okay. So the main ones, you're currently, I'm guessing you're a freaking huge FF7 fan, obviously, because you have all their relics. Um, everyone else is 30 or below, or sitting at 1, and I think that's the only information that is really relevant, the soul breaks, because... The abilities are fairly important as well, but you can get more of them eventually in the orb festivals and stuff like that so definitely save some mithril for the orb festivals if you need it especially for the black orbs and the power orbs that's that's pretty much what everyone is saving for really okay so the ones you need to look at like i said is cloud that's a really good one tyro maybe and sephiroth in the ult optimal party you'll have probably let me just i don't know if you'll be able to see this right like i said it's like a slew the puff thing to do um, so obviously, maybe two fighters, depending if you want to have, like, a physical type party. Two supports, and also one white mage. You can also, of course, swap out one of the fighters for a black mage, or both the fighters for black mages, and one of the supports for something else, another mage, perhaps. Depending if you want to have a full mage party or a full support plus fighter party it's also it's always always good to have supports because you can do the breakdown such as mental breakdown if you have a mage party and also like armor breakdown as well obviously this guy doesn't have he said he doesn't have all of the level four breaks honed yet so that's going to be a problem that's probably the first thing you want to do um all the other relics to note is tifa obviously you want to use tifa because it's one of your favorite characters Ico with the Golem Flute, that is exceptional as well. I would probably get her to level 65. I believe she has a level cap on this Final Fantasy IX event. So basically your party you, want, you would want is probably definitely Cloud because you have his first student sword. Why the hell not? I don't want to waste time putting in the GIFs and everything. Uh, Sephiroth. That would be a maybe. You have him on 51. I'm guessing you have Zack's uh, level cap done already. Because that was in the... Was it in the Advent Children one? I think so. But I'll put Sephiroth there for now. You you may want to trade him. But he's good for like AoE physicals. So that will be really good. Um, I'm going to actually put this a little bit lower. There we go. AoE physicals is really good, especially with Yukikaze and stuff involved. I'm not going to go through all these characters because there's no point because you don't have their relics. So at the moment, obviously you want... Uh, it's a little bit tough because you don't have any supports at the moment. No, you have no support characters except for Tyro, which is a little bit annoying to be honest. And the problem with Celebration Grimoire is it doesn't really give you a great AoE AoE heal like Golem's Flute does. So obviously Ico will be your white mage. And for now I'll put Tifa in. 
just because of a platinum fist. I know I, s I spell really badly. Platinum fist, just because of a I think it's thirty percent attack buff, thirty or thirty five percent, not dollar sign, attack buff. And the only thing that's remaining is obviously. I know you would really want two supports, but at the moment you don't have any supports relics. So obviously you would have to go Tyro or Ramza. When Ramza comes out with his scream, definitely pull on that one, see what you get. If not, then stick... Well, if you get Ramza, then you can always use Tyro as your roaming warrior. So that's a good thing. And you also have that attack buff. You can even get rid of Tifa and put in someone else, such as... I don't know, one of your favourite characters, really. Such as Zack or something. He's pretty good with his fists because he does three AoE, hit, AoE hits with Dismissal, so that can be also good. Um, you got Bard, uh, Zell, not really good because Tifa's kind of the better Zell. And you probably don't want Zell in your party because you love Tifa. And that's about it, I think. I think uh, he has a few shared, which can be useful. But for now, this will probably be your party. So definitely fit in Tyro with the breakdowns. This can be... Definitely you want to craft power breakdown and magic breakdown, because those are the main ones that you want to focus on first. And then after that, it will be your armor breakdown and finally mental breakdown, because first off, you want to start with a physical party, of course, because you only have soul breaks which are physical and Aiko of course is your white mage with her AoE heal and haste and her ones would be like Kiraga and Shelga or whatever and you can swap out Shelga with Diaga if you have enough defense and stuff like that Tifa a little bit difficult but also like attack stuff any attacks really you can put her with some breaks but uh, if you have breakdowns on Ramza or Tyro, such as Magic Breakdown and, what is it, Power Breakdown, then you'll definitely put Tifa with a Armor Break. And perhaps Life Siphon, just to get more of a Soul Break up. Sephiroth with the, his AoE physical attacks, definitely, because he has Yuki Kaze or other type of attacks such as um, double cut and stuff like that and of course Cloud of course with Life Siphon and Tempo Flurry or whatever the boss's weakness is but usually I, I would stick on Tempo Flurry and also Life Siphon and I think that's about it isn't it that's pretty much everything last thing he has 100 total abilities and yeah that's about it so this will be your party Hopefully it will help you in the long run. You may want to switch out a little bit depending on what soul breaks you get. Definitely because of the soul break celebrations coming up. Rams is particularly important because he has haste and um, the attack buff as well. So it depends really what you want in the future. But definitely that's a pretty good solid start. Definitely level up Ico because today is the... Um, what's it called? The experience event. So that's beautiful. Works out really good for you. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want me to do more, then just ask, and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a good one.